Hey everybody, welcome back to We Are Podcast. This is Camp Slash Horrorcast Season 3, Episode 11, Malignant. If this is your first time checking out the podcast network, we appreciate it. Please head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, or iTunes, and give We Are Podcast Network a like. And just a reminder, Camp Slash Horrorcast is a weekly live video cast available on Twitch and YouTube. We go live every Monday at 8 p.m. Central Time at twitch.tv backslash we are podcast network and youtube.com backslash we are podcast network. As the Camp Slash Horrorcast is live, I will not be editing the audio for this podcast. So what you saw live is what you get here. Please come watch the stream every Monday at 8 p.m. And if you want to see the previous streams, go check out our Twitch or YouTube channel. And for a full list of future films we'll be watching, please head over to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash we are podcast. All links can be found in the description. And with that, on to the horror cast. Camp slash horror cast. Hey everybody, welcome hey. to Camp Slash Horror Cast, where we <laughs> talk horror movies from the past every Monday at 8 p.m. Central Time. I'm your head camp counselor, Doug. I'm here with other head camp counselors. We have Mikey. He speaks. He is broadcasting his thoughts. B, Mikey, how are you doing today, sir? I'm good, man. How's everybody doing? Uh, glad to be here. Happy Merry Christmas slash late related <laughs> birthday stuff yep. going on, dude. So this oh, is Mikey's birthday you too. pick, you too. and I uh, wish we would have watched it sooner. So I apologize about that. <laughs> no problem. Uh, bad. Uh, next, we got Raf. It's time to cut out the cancer. Ramirez. Raph, how are you doing, sir? <laughs> Fantastic, man. Thanks for having me. Excellent, excellent. And finally, we got Jacob. Nobody deserves to die like that, but seriously, fuck him, Pinkston. Jacob, how are you, sir? Uh, top of the evening to you. Top of the evening to you, sir. Well. Guys, we watch Malignant. Let's talk a little bit about it. Release date September, September 10th, September, September 10th, 2021. <laughs> yeah. Theater and say. HBO Max. This movie was a budgeted at 40 million with a box office of 34 million. So it didn't make it back. But with uh, HBO kind of thing that they're doing now, they kind of know that it's not going to make back the budget. They're just releasing these movies because they need to get them out. And on HBO Max, they don't release the numbers. So this shit's probably working out great for them, would be my guess. Uh, 111 minutes. Synopsis. Paralyzed by fear from shocking visions, a woman's torment worsens as she discovers her her waking dreams are terrifying (laughs) realities. Her wet dreams are my Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I'm going to backwards finger you. Just put the in here and give him a, a thing. Oh, snap. Jay, welcome to the horror cast. This hey, evening. guys, how we doing? Good, good, good. Jay, good it's going to be Jay. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing murders as they're happening. McClintock. So Jay is in. Good to see Jay. Uh, we were saying we watched Malignant. We're going to watch the trailer really quick here. So let me you guys so you can see that. Are you not going to introduce the other camp counselors? Uh, I got everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is good to go. So I know. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is me right now, paralyzed with fear. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Javi finally called it, Chris. <laughs> the body of Dr. Florence Weaver yes. was found brutally murdered in her home this morning. Did you know her? Her sister looks like a Cabbage Patch doll. But I saw her. <laughs> With the fat That's ass. Hot <laughs> That's a hot ass doll right there. Yeah, I gotta say. As they're happening. Hello? Hi. He says his name is Gabriel. I think he's someone from my past. That's a cabbage pog, kid. (laughs) Whatever happened to you before you joined our family hurt you in a way that I can't even imagine. Stop saying that. That's a pretty good trailer. I'm not gonna lie. All right, that's enough of that. I, I would be sold, I think, on the movie. The two-minute trailer. Jesus Christ. All right, we're not watching all that. All right, guys, let's talk history. <clears throat> let's start with Mr. Naughty B. Mikey, you picked this movie. 
what is it about it? You put, you said pretty quickly after it came out that you wanted to watch about it. Yeah, uh, I thought this movie was hilarious, to be honest with you. It was a little scary until I figured out what was actually going on, and I was like, are, are you fucking with me? Uh, but it was it was hilarious. It just looks so... The graphics yeah. are good. All the special yeah. effects I thought were good, but just when she's like... And the thing I really liked is doing the action scenes backwards. You realize like they had to have a lady or man or whatever non-gendered person <laughs> do that shit backwards. I mean, without a gender, that's got to be hard enough. Uh, but like killing dudes backwards, cops can't even shoot a bitch that's facing the other way. Like that's <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Dude, that yes. scene was badass, and it was definitely very Matrixy. Uh, did you see it on HBO Max, or did you go to theaters to see it? Uh, HBO Max. HBO Max. Come on, digital age, baby. I think it's going across <laughs> the board. Jay, do you have history with it? Did you watch it when it came out? No, I mean, I watched it uh, about three months ago with Jessup. We watched it uh, on a Tuesday. Uh, it was... Uh, Raining. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was interesting. Uh, I, I kind of, uh, you know, I, I kind of saw a few things coming. Well, actually, obviously, we'll talk about it. But uh, by the end of it, I, I, it really felt like more of a comic book movie to me. Oh, yeah? Oh, Absolutely. Well. It felt like, uh, like I, I think I've told a few of these. I feel like this, uh, this uh, creation could have uh, been a great villain for like Dark Man. Yeah. <laughs> I think they could have been, could have lived in the yeah. same universe in a lot of well, ways. It yeah. would be Dark Person in this day and age. <laughs> <laughs> Raph, how about you? Did you watch this when it came out, or is this? I, 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 this is my first time seeing it, and right. uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, uh, especially that twist at the end. Yeah. And uh, it made me again for some reason I felt like a superhero movie at the end. That's like that's what it should have been. Yeah, maybe like, it's like an origin story for. That's Miller. where exactly where my head went to. Yeah, uh, yeah, I saw that twist coming first uh, ten minutes in, so I wasn't shocked <laughs> by it. Like, oh, I was just watching a movie, yeah. waiting for it to happen the whole time. Like, yeah. like, part your fucking hair already. Let's go, villains there. All right. <laughs> Jake, how about you? Uh, did you watch it when it came out, or did you just watch it for this? Uh, this is my first time. Yeah, and was it more, a experience? More like malignant. Uh, <laughs> God damn, that's good. Uh, no, I, I Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it was it was a movie. Um, I thought it was hilarious. Also, like I said earlier, just the the premise alone. I mean, it's like a tells from the crypt episode almost. Like it good reminds cool. me of the whatever. The, yeah, whenever the puppet. Uh, whenever Bobcat Goldthwait and uh, Don, Don Rickles, Rickles yeah. yeah, they Don Rickles had the fucking hand on his, yeah, that's what uh, that's you, you get what I'm saying. I thought you were talking about Freaked, uh, whenever he's the sock man, he's like, Hello! <laughs> I love uh, I did Freaked not, was better. I did not know anything about this movie going in, I had no one uh, spoil it for me, I did not read a single synopsis, I did not know what to expect. Uh, within the first 10 minutes, whenever they do the opening scene, which is cheesy as fuck and not scary at all. And I, I put two and two together pretty quickly. Whenever malignant tumor, I was just like, let's cut the cancer out. I was like, okay, I already know everything that's going to happen in this movie. Yeah. Let's, let's enjoy this roller coaster. Oh, I'll okay. I, I, long I, enough. <laughs> let's see the twists and turns and the curves. I definitely did not put that together. Yeah, dude. Just, I was just like, let's sit <laughs> back fucking and enjoy. stoner. Yeah. No, no but first of all, <laughs> okay. So if I can start by saying, what? if I can start by saying, I thought we were gonna be watching Maleficent. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's Maleficent? Because I never heard of this freaking movie before. <laughs> You thought we were gonna watch Angelina Jolie? I, I was like, why would they be watching a Disney horror movie? I don't. Hey, I mean, don't know. We, we might uh, we, return to Oz. I think it uh, oh, yeah. It would count. Sure. Yeah, Absolutely. I, think, sure. I think we could totally watch Return to Oz this <laughs> cast. So that's a Disney horror movie right there. All right, guys, let's get into it. The opening scene is not scary at all. It is cheesy as fuck. And it sets a weird tone for this movie where I think you're either in or you are out. And I was in. I said, you know what? Let's go. Let's see how cheesy this shit can get. Because it's shocking that this premise works. It is beyond shocking that it works. What did you guys think just going into it, just opening up? Jake, I see you, you over there just thinking that. Oh, I, yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Like, the acting is pretty bad right off the bat. Like, you know, uh, it's <laughs> that baby inside of you. That's the 
problem there. <laughs> I like I, I love how they have like the curtain, and I love the te- telepathy or telekinesis or whatever it's called. And the you know, whatever they have the little radio, you just hear, I will kill you all. I was like, fuck yeah. And you can see the little dinosaur on limbs going behind the curtain. I was like, badass. I was like, what the fuck are we about to like, yeah. I was like, this is cool. And then the guy getting his arm broken in that. That was pretty like, cool. I, yeah. I, it doesn't even make sense to how it happened, but okay, let's let's go with it. Did the baby dinosaur do it, or did she do it, or what's the story? I just wanted him to say, "Clever girl." <laughs> <laughs> when yeah, she says that you've been a bad boy, or yeah, oh yeah, sure, you've been a naughty boy, boy. Sure. a naughty boy. <laughs> yeah, and I, and it's kind of they they do try to throw you off with the Gabriel thing, not saying Emily <clears throat> or Madison or whatever her name was. So by the, the conjoined twin thing, by only saying it's male, the first scene in the movie, whenever she shows up and her husband's a piece of shit, I'm sitting there thinking, is he the fucking the kid? Like, that was a really good twist, I thought, uh, in the opening. Yeah. And the fact that he gets it within 10 minutes in, because whenever he fucking give her an uppercut in the stomach and throws her against the wall, I was like, Ooh. I was like, this guy is going to get it so bad, so bad. And so whenever he does, it's totally justified. You're like, fuck. I like how his response to that was like, I'll go get you some ice. You probably need ice. How about some therapy, piece of shit? (laughs) Killed your baby and smashed your bride's head against the wall. Uh, Yeah, better get some ice. That'll fix it. Yeah. I agree with you. But uh, that was a great scene when he gets taken out because uh, that that's the I'm pretty sure that's the scene that scared Javi and that's what made him turn off the TV. <laughs> when the TV goes off and he turns on he the sees light his head broken on. backwards. Yeah. Bro, Javi was like, no, no, no. Uh, I he's like... watching a bunch of anime right now. Uh... <laughs> when he pops in, I'm talking to him that you said that. <laughs> I am. I hope he's watching. I'm going to say that anime right now. <laughs> um. He might not pop in. Uh, um, so, so you're right, though. The the creature is almost like the grudge kind of thing. Like you, the like creepy shadow. Yeah, like. it's and it's the creature that moves in the night. It's the boogeyman kind of thing, which I could see where they were trying to do the twist and sh- really like make it a psychological thing. And at the end, whenever, you know, they talk about the rea- like Gabriel creates reality, uh, you know, she sees what he wants her to see. Maybe the creature couldn't move like that and wasn't powerful as it was, or maybe it was, I don't know. But, um, well, no, I think she was just hallucinating that whole time because, uh, again, she, she he was controlling her body, but she was seeing other things. And that's then, what he uh, said, bro, it got me tripping out when, uh, the other lady was in the ceiling. I thought it was her. And that, that's when I got confused. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Is that her in the ceiling or is she fucking hallucinating? Um, right. that was another funny scene when she falls through the ceiling. Her mom, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then the fucking cue the vapor wave, like yeah. every time there's something dramatic that happens, it's like, <laughs> I was like oh. it's actually not called a vapor wave, it's called a diddly loo. It's from Wayne's World. Jay, um, how about you? Uh, at the opening of this movie, did you kind of know where it was going, or did you, were you kind of blindsided? Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a bit, I was a big fan of uh, American Horror Story Freak, and uh, they talk about uh, Edward Mandrake, and uh, oh, yeah. he was a very famous guy uh, who had a, had a twin basically growing on the back of his head. So that was <laughs> that was telegraphed basically. He said it talked to him in his sleep. And it fucking whispered evil things to him for real. And he killed yeah. himself whenever he was really young. Yeah, and Wes yeah. Bentley played him on the on yeah. the show. And it's like, yeah, I mean, un- unfortunately, I-, I had seen that, so that really took away a lot of the the intrigue. It just it just really just kind of, you know. And I've seen Total Recall, so I know all about you know. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, like, but I don't think it took away from the story. I, I think it took away from the twist that they were trying to go for. But uh, I thought, you know, th- their delivery after the fact, I was like, okay, let's go, let's go. And That's kind of that, how I felt too. Just like I thought they right. rebounded. I felt this movie does a really good job of rebounding from its from its uh, from its like weaknesses and lower points. I think it. I think it really does a good job of identifying them and then moving through those. I I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate I appreciated it a lot in this movie. 
Well, it's a stupid premise, and <laughs> the fact that they make it work <laughs> is fucking awesome. Like, it really did have great cinemagraphic, like when she's running and you can see through the levels of the mansion, like the the scene from above. That was really cool. Yeah, um, yeah, that was a cool movie. shot. Yeah, it reminded me of uh, Enter the Void, which is a movie me and Jay oh, yeah. yeah. that really fucked us up. <laughs> <We're just> like, <laughs> Uh, but like it has that thing where it kind of goes over the different levels of whatever and enter the void they do entire cityscapes it's fucking crazy because the the ghost of the character just floats over everything it's absolutely nuts and there yeah, was one like up, that over really. the city James too. Wan does he, he does an amazing job in all of his films I don't care what he's made like Saw was revolutionary uh, The Conjuring is an amazing horror movie the, all, yeah. creating a side series Annabelle you know what I mean then he directed no, that's fucking, just scary <laughs> Didn't he direct uh, 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 Jason Momoa and uh, Yeah, he directed Aquaman. <laughs> Thank you, Aquaman. And Aquaman was pretty. Interesting. That shit was scary. Yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> right, let's watch that one. I'm gonna yeah, be honest with you. Is, it was through. super interesting watching a muscle man break a bottle into the sea that he wants to protect and swim off his yeah. jeans. Real fucking oh. good job, James. <laughs> <laughs> Just chucking it in there. Um. Yeah, I, I think he James Wan knows what he's doing though. I think he's he's released quite a few uh, good films. He's had a hand not a handful, but he's had a couple ones that didn't hit. I think Dead Silence was the one about the puppet. Uh, that one didn't hit, but everything else pretty much has been a pretty big hit for him. So he does well, and I think in the cinematography and like you said, this is a a weird premise and it makes it fun. Like I just something about this character Gabriel with coming the, the tumor coming out of the back of the head and the way it looks especially when it's like you said in the police department and it's matrixing out like you can see her actual head and then you see gabriel that's cool as shit you know it's really that funny. scene was probably my favorite scene when she takes out all those lesbians in there it was really cool. <laughs> oh yeah it was hey really one really of those cool. one of those was uh zoe bell She's, yeah uh, i noticed that yeah. dude from grindhouse yeah fuck yeah. yeah yeah that was such a great scene uh the gore there was i'm sure that dave that was david's favorite scene too the gore in there was pretty awesome especially her fist going through that one lady yeah that, Look, was, what cool. that was yeah that was a dope yeah. ass scene when she went kelly um, mom that one chick kelly mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. good jake what are you gonna say uh, why, how the fuck did the adopted family not know about this massive, like, fucking scar <laughs> on the back of her fucking body, head, whatever, like, that, uh, I, I just, I'm at, I'm at a loss here, and they had to, like, fucking, they collect these old videos, and they play them, and it's like, oh, Gabriel, we didn't know what it was, it's like, you didn't think about that fucking thing on the back of her, that's fucking, yeah, uh, I mean, if, loss, if, if it's based in a horror Plot reality, it makes zero sense. But it's like, if you got to think of it in reality, reality, and like, you wouldn't question that unless, I mean, yeah, you would. You probably would. But it's just one of those things where whenever she's talking to like her little invisible friend and then oh, the, the night to that play phone again. What's that? There's the, another toy phone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the uh, moral of the story is do not have toy phones in the house or kids. No. Like, yeah, yeah, you know what? Take her back to the orphanage. Mm, for real. <laughs> Whenever she was over the bed and the room yeah. changed, or she was over Take the her back to the night, orphanage. And the room changed. <laughs> yeah, nine, over the fucking pregnant womb. Yeah. yeah. Take her back. Keep going back. Oh. Uh, Could have solved version. this whole thing. That's why it's called malignant. I'm telling you. People are fucking stupid. That's how I feel. I didn't put it together. Malignant, malignant tumor. Fuck. <laughs> oh so right now, you didn't put it together? Yeah. I feel like, so stupid. I'm like, damn. Brad, damn how high it. were you when you were watching this? Uh, pretty fucking high. <laughs> I watched a movie where nothing happened. It was called Benign. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Um, Gabriel, though, is an interesting villain, especially in the way that he moves. Uh, and, you know, that's I absolutely think that is one of the most interesting things is to watch a creature move backwards. It's it's terrifying and somewhat, you know, intriguing and beautiful in its own way. And that's why I think he would be a great addition to Dead by Daylight. I think that if you made him a killer in Dead by Daylight, it would be badass. You'd be a what? dope killer. Yeah, it would be so cool. And it's just I love the way. They had to get a contortionist to play the character 
and she, to run backwards and stuff like that. And they did a lot of the stuff in camera. And there is like the big money moment scene at the end of the police station where she jumps up on the thing and like rises up. Doesn't look great, but it's like mm. your brain's trying to figure out how this thing's moving backwards in the first right. Time. Well, they also did the uh, the crab walk that they were going to use in Alien Three, and they decided mm-hmm. that it didn't look scary enough, so they fucking. I was just thinking it. the actresses. I was just thinking. Oh uh, yeah, the walk down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's pretty cool. Um, it's. I mean, this is pretty bare bones for a movie. I guess you know, does it work? Is the question. You it know, was too long. It was. It was. You felt fun. like it was too long, really. I felt I like it was so. paced perfectly. I, I, I was in for the ride. So yeah. At I, what I point know, were you like, I'm out. I'm good. Well, no, in the beginning, I wish it had picked up because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I felt like it, it could have picked up faster. It was too, almost two hours. Did you see the twist coming, though, is the question. You I know. It. I didn't put it together. I <laughs> <so mad. laughs> Man, how high were you? I, I put it together. So I when she... watching Maleficent. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so when she's in the jail cell and she rips her hair. Down, that's when I'm like, oh. <laughs> no way. You didn't see that? No, bro. I can't even imagine how much of an enjoyable movie it would be not knowing that that was. Because, like, I'm telling you, 10 minutes in, I knew what was happening. I, I know, like, I'm part glad your hair. I did part it. your hair, bitch. Let's see it. Let's go. Let's and go. that's crazy because that's what I hated. I hated it the first scene uh, when, you know, I, I, I put it together after the, the, they were dragging the kid and she was wearing girl socks. I'm like, oh, that was a fucking girl. And then oh. he said, the, yeah. So you kind of know. No, no, no. Like, not to the end. Dude, what a ride! Yeah, that must bro. You just yeah, thought it was a, a cross-dressing yeah, team. Yeah. <laughs> they got it. Girl, him hurt. I was been judging. You know, no gender profiling here. <laughs> I mean, technically, I mean, you kind of got to talk about it because it's part of it, though. Because uh, you know, like, there's got to be something trans about it, or something at least uh, non-binary about the whole situation. Because it is a, a woman um, and a man, and you got to compare the two. And, and like, who like, who named who named it Gabriel? Who named it Gabriel? I have this. I just had this re, the, this recurring image of my head uh, whenever Gabriel's taking over and she has to shit, and he's just like standing <laughs> up and shit's coming out <laughs> and it's like, like a little fucking poopy fucking crotch area. <laughs> he's just staring at the wall <laughs> like, "Hurry up, bitch!" <laughs> I feel like I could wipe better if I could see back there, though. <laughs> but your arms roll backwards, like trying to work. It. Oh, like, that's what's crazy is whenever she yeah. dislocates the arms and like puts them up you there. Can hear it? Yeah, I, I love. I feel like if of- if I could do that, I wouldn't be a stand-up wiper anymore. <laughs> um, crab crab wiping. Um, that's the second murder, which. <laughs> leans over the guy in the bed and it's backwards and the way she stabs him backwards that was some of the coolest shit i've ever seen that's what i'm saying with this premise is stupid as shit but some of the cinematography is so badass the way it looks like it's just yeah i didn't like it it confused me (laughs) (laughs) that's what i was saying Oh, it may well, it's a I, of, I, it confused me. If it confuses me and I don't understand it, therefore I don't like it. It's a it bit makes of a brain angry. Yeah, I'm, and then you just start tossing everything. Uh, whatever, the, yeah, whatever it was stabbing in the bed all backwards is like, what the fuck is going on here? And then it jumped out the windows backwards. I was like, dude, this is fucking wild, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was kind of hot, like backwards cowgirl. If you couldn't see that weird little alien <laughs> hanging out, red. Hey, I'm even fine with that. <laughs> I, I, you know, hot body, ugly face. It's whatever. Yeah, was, I, I love a butter face, dude. That's yeah. my mother right there. That's, that's my target audience. Ultimate butter face. <laughs> um, did anyone else? See, did anyone else see the this coming from a mile away though? Jay, did you? Did you <laughs> oh, yeah. like or Jake? Go ahead. Did you? Oh, I thought oh, you okay. said Jake. Oh, I said Jay, but a Jake is one. Oh. I it's, thought he said Jay. We always do this when I go. I go Jay. Um, Jay, did you see the ending coming from my way? Did you see it pretty close up? Jay. 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 Talking to me? Jay. Yes. See? see? I, yeah, I thought you were talking to Jake. Oh, God. See, that's <laughs> what I thought also. <laughs> my bad. 
Oh, my bad, my bad. You Jay, fucking did, you motherfucker. did you see it coming from a mile away? Did you know what was going on this entire movie? No, nah, I, like I said, I, I, I knew that that the I knew that she had something going on in the back of her head. I definitely knew that. But as far as the way it was going to end, no, I didn't see that it ending exactly like that. Um, I do like the fact that she is literally like John Wick on steroids, <laughs> like in the, in the police station. But yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the only part I really saw coming, like really, like you know, coming on, you know, headstrong. Yeah. But that was about it for me. Yeah, why, why, why does she dress like Underworld in the Matrix? Or, like, <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, get does, that either. She does go a little like a superhero movie. <laughs> Heavy leather, and she can't kill without it because she breaks into the police station just to pick up her shit. Got to have my shit. Got to go. You know what I mean? Can't kill without it. Wait, I mean, I don't, I don't kill without my lucky out? hat. It's my lucky hat. I won't yeah. do without my lucky <laughs> hat. <laughs> yeah. Got to wear it. Lucky hat. Hat. It's part of it. That fucking uh, bitch. You know what she does? She makes a phone call from the airport anyways. So, uh, Jake, did you see the ending coming from my way? Did you see? Oh, well, not the ending, but I saw the twist coming from a mile away. Okay, that's what yeah. I meant, the twist, yeah. Yeah, well, as, as soon as she said, cut the cancer out. I was like, well, yeah, that's... that's, how, that's, <laughs> that's yeah. <laughs> how about you, Mikey? Did you see it coming from a mile away? Uh, first off, for our answer, because uh, I wanted to get this in here, I think we all need to stop. And I don't think I'll think of anything more clever or punny than what Jake said with malignant. He needs credit. For that. <laughs> That's fucking. I didn't even connect. That's thank you. Wow, beautiful. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's malignant. It's a tumor. Cut the cancer out. Yeah, she's got a fucking dum dum in the back of her head. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw. And like, and maybe the whole time, all I could think was the first time I watched it, and just now when I watched it. I wonder if she was ever getting railed from the back. Gabriel pops out and like. <laughs> oh. I just and I I couldn't stop thinking about. It. What if he's fucking into it and the Gabriel's like, oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> Don't come on me, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I saw it coming, but it was so great. I thought there were some great scenes. I liked the way they did a lot of the cinematography and the diddly loos. I thought they were pretty cool. I like the remix <laughs> of that song from Fight Club that they use. Uh, yeah. It took me forever to figure it out, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, it's the fucking credit bureau's dying." So, uh, <laughs> I, I saw it coming, but I thought, like Jay, I thought of John Wick in that one big scene too, and I kept trying to think of a pun for it, and I couldn't think of one. <laughs> uh, but still, yeah, it's uh, it was. I, I saw it coming. All the clues were there. Yeah, it does a traditional horror movie or action movie kind of thing where. It, it's mystery thriller and then there's a chase scene and then there's the the big reveal and then the big scene you know it, it follows all the everything yeah. you want i mean in the in the beginning when she comes home and he's sweet for about a sentence and then he goes he goes uh I'm at, why do I have to keep watching my babies die inside you? I was like, whoa, he gonna die. He about to die. <laughs> you don't get to be that much of a dick through a whole movie. Right, no, no. We don't do that no right. more. No. So you guys thought the Cabbage Patch uh, doll was uh, hot, huh? Oh, she had a great butt. Yeah, yeah she did. <laughs> well, there was one uh, scene in particular. You're like, God damn. The jeans, because you could see the yes. lines. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I scanned it. I, like I scanned it. About... It went right into the bank. And I was like, yep, lines. <laughs> <laughs> lines. Butt lines. We'll, we'll make a deposit later. <laughs> I just kept, I just kept thinking she was gonna die in the asylum when she went to it and went mm. in by herself. Nah, she's too hot to die, I dude. Did. Right. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was crazy at the scene. end though, whenever and... she gets her, bla- her her brains her brains blown out, I was shocked. I was like, holy fuck, they actually killed her. And then whenever you find out it's an illusion, and I was she... like, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You, you don't need no. to she's too sweet and nice. And like she's always on her sister's side and got her sister's back. Like I was like, I was like, you can't kill her. Like she's awesome. Can and I the, can, can I jump sorry. to the can I jump to like one of my biggest issues with the movie? Yes, please. It's it's towards it's literally towards the end. Can can I go there? Yeah, go ahead. So she's careless. All this may, mayhem and chaos, and they finally get her to calm down. And she's in that she's in that hospital room, dude. She would be fucking Swiss cheese, man. Y'all like, agree. <laughs> oh, yeah. She, she killed all be, the police. Yeah. She, she killed all not, the police. She would not be coming out of their lives. She would be full of holes. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, my, my, my issues. Issues. They're like, call the fucking National Guard. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the fucking. Was... 
person running backwards towards you. Like, I'm what? a fucking bomb in that place, dude. Sorry, collateral damage. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Yeah, that, that was my issue, man. None of those cops can fucking hit a target. You got 18 cops in a room, and none of them. Yeah. Throw some marbles on the ground. Trip that bitch. Because right. 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 she was a like white a girl. Trapper. Nobody. Oh. I Nobody would eat a banana yes, in that room right. today. Throw a banana peel on the ground. That bitch will slip. She's going that back. Was a, that was a really good opportunity to have like a fly moment where like they have this very like sensitive touching issue. And then all of a sudden her head just becomes like pink mist from just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Such a wasted opportunity. Such a wasted opportunity. I love I would have been a great ending. Just... What's that? <laughs> Her, yeah, just that, and then it's over because it's over. It's a thing that they have where it's like, I locked Gabriel away. And it's like, yeah, super grotesque <laughs> fucking thing going on on the yeah. back of you. Nobody would want to be near you. Like, just you, you should have died. You should have killed yourself. <laughs> She's got a little fucking Independence Day the hanging out her head. <laughs> yeah. Like, goddamn. Uh, uh, no, you're right. I was thinking twin. the same thing. Every time her sister hugs her, and I'm like, you know that thing's back there, right? Yeah, like, it's just back there. <laughs> <laughs> also, how did they they like with good conscience uh, give that baby out to somebody or a child after they knew that that thing exists? And they're just like, well, don't tell anybody. Somebody else's problem now. <laughs> That's why she got locked <laughs> up in the fucking attic, though. That fucking yeah, I'll show you, bitch. Yeah, they should have just killed her then as a child. Yeah. And I'm not saying kill kids, but kill that one. Yeah. <laughs> There's something wrong with that one. Have this fucking ugly little fuck running around yeah. str- strangling people yeah. backwards. Doesn't make any 70, sense. 70 second trimester abortion. That's all. <laughs> I have they, they must have been in a state where abortion is <laughs> not legal. <laughs> with that did. trimester. Would they show the VHS and they show. Emily in the front, and then they go to the back and they go, Let's go talk to this. Wake up, Gabriel. And they you show the little. <laughs> I was like, Yes, I was like, That's an awesome creature effect. I was so excited. And whenever I love the design of, of Gabriel as he's running around, I think that that just parted in the hair and that that little slit of like, Oh, it's uh, creepy as fuck. It's awesome. It's so, but cool. it's also hilarious at the yes. same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. If that thing came at me, I'd be like, Nice bangs, yeah, yeah, yeah just. <laughs> Push in space, like you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it's. I think as a killer, though, I think, I think this. If this movie would have done better, I don't know how you do a sequel to this because I don't know what's interesting. You have to go. It balls sounded away. like they, they killed him. They them. locked away in her yeah, mind. We don't need it. We, we don't and then <laughs> she'll lose her mind again, and then Gabriel's free. <laughs> they're, they're making a second one. They're definitely making a second one. <laughs> I don't know what you would do with the sequel. Does the brain? You don't do moved? one. You don't. No, you do don't one. think. I think nah. you go bad shit crazy. I it didn't make Ace money. Goes the hell crazy. Like you go nuts. You let the brain get out. You let people eat it or something. They get, you know, consumed it, and then they get possessed by it. I think well, it nuts. they also the she also had ESP. She had powers, right? So you know, he she had ESP. Yeah. Plus. Okay, so yeah, that, they left it open for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I derailed it. Uh, yeah, no, they left no. it up for a sequel though, because they, they did. whenever the the buzzing of the fucking lamp, like it was like. Eh. Mm-hmm. So even though it didn't make money, it still made money, and yeah, you know, well, they they probably do that as like a tester. They're like, if this makes money, we could just go off this, and if it doesn't, we'll just make another one. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just we'll just reboot it in ten years with yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Spider cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I, but I I think across the board it was pretty good. Do you guys have anything else to say about it? It's pretty simplistic. Story. Uh, Not a lot I was gonna it. say one hole that I found, and maybe I'm wrong, but when the what what, what was his name? Kikoa, K- Coco, whatever the fuck his name was. Uh, yeah, Officer when Coco. He, when, when he gets the videos, the, they're on thumb drives, and I'm like, and she's like, it's 1992. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck they, you talking about? They didn't, they didn't use thumb drives. They didn't use thumb drives. I they were still using floppy too. disks. Yeah, I thought that was weird too. The phone she was playing with too, when she was talking to Gabriel, lit up in like different colors. I was like, I don't think they had those kind of phones when I was a kid. I don't think that was a thing. Yeah, I I do want to say uh, as overall though, I do like that this movie, and I'm sure you guys will agree with me or I'll have you all fucking canceled. Uh, I do like (laughs) that it was a female-driven cast, mostly females, and me and all my feminist, non-gendered sisters were very happy about that. And we just wish it would have made more money and been more accepted worldwide. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> it's because of the patriarchy, though. I mean, we all know this. Well, we're going to break it. We're working on it. <laughs> they didn't get the uh, ad revenue that it should have. Uh, it should have been driven. Gabriel uh, should have been Gabriella. That's my only complaint. Inverse <laughs> it, and that would have worked out better. Yeah. Make, yeah. Women, make women the villains. That's what we need to do. And then, <laughs> sorry. No, you guys were saying, I was just trying to continue it. I thought you just did just make all the women the villains. God damn it. All right. Anyone else have anything else to say about the movie? Uh, yeah. Uh, go see Spider Man No Way Home. Yeah. <laughs> much better movie. Watched that yesterday, too. Way cooler Excellent. movie. Jay, I want to dig deeper into the uh, superhero aspect of it. You felt like this was a origin story for a villain or for a hero? Villain. For villain. Okay. And and the who would you said Dark Man? That's the universe you see? Something in? like that. Dark Man or maybe um, uh, Constantine. Uh, someone who deals with the occult or something of you know that goes bump maybe even like Doctor Strange on a far away but no more like yeah people who deal with you know kind of horror themed uh, in general uh, you know comic books it just kind of had that vibe towards the end especially the way she moved like she moved like she moved like I said John Wick she moved like a comic book character she moved like she knew what she was doing she looked very formidable. Like, I was thinking about good. glass the whole time. I was thinking, yeah, glass. Yeah, noir. Very noir. Split. I think she would yeah. go good with that genre, uh, no. especially like with Split, how like his whole body would change to the beast and all that. I, That's maybe such think a great that one. Kind of like villain. Yeah. Uh, it very much had a towards the end. It, and, and here's the thing: I think. That's just James Wan having an Aquaman hangover. I think that. Uh, I think once you, I think once you direct a superhero movie, it kind of defines you for a little while. And, and and the movie he made was huge. I mean, Aquaman made a ton of money. He yeah. made Aquaman interesting. That was no small feat. And, you know, he's continued the, you know, w- with this one, I think he just kept some of those tropes. That's what I think. You mean it was no small gills? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, I guess the closest you would have to this character in comic books would be Two-Face, I guess. But that's he's not a tumor. But, I mean, to have that duality. Uh, no, I think not the closest- a tumor. Not I think the person, much. I think the closest person to this would be Venom, where you have, uh, you know, right. two a things kind of taken over one body. I think it's very, it's a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, with the so, I mean, like stuff. It's, yeah, it's it's very much in that regard. And and when and when Gabriel takes over, everything heightens. She becomes stronger. She becomes more agile. Uh, she's a much better fighter. She can dodge. Bu- she can dodge bullets like Spider Man does. <laughs> like all the all the things are right there. It's all it's all right there. Plain as day. Did y'all ever see Upgrade? Yeah, I have not. No, that is the best Venom movie ever. Yeah, it's pretty good. They did so good. Yeah, I did not see it. Uh, Raph, do you have anything else to say about the movie? Uh, gotcha. No, I just really, I just really enjoyed when uh, she was talking. Uh, her sister was talking to the other lady on the phone, and then just hangs up on her. Like, bitch, say bye. Why don't people ever say bye? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> But uh, no, that was good. Uh, <laughs> other than that, I really did enjoy the, uh, the most most of the movie. It was great, great shot, greatly shot, and um, yeah, man, I, I, I get, I'll give it three stars. Yeah. That's about it. I want to say real quick, what's really weird is in Texas, everyone says bye bye when they get off the phone. And bye bye. Working, working at a job, I mean, everyone says bye. bye. And working Late. at a job, I would have like. See ya. Grown ass men yelling at me on the phone, like, fuck you, fix this. This is bullshit. And then at the end, they'd be like, all right, bye bye. <laughs> like, yeah, bye. <laughs> what is that? No, you don't say bye bye. <laughs> uh. It was it was great. All right. Uh, recommend it. Raph, you said three stars. You recommend it then? I do. I just watch it once. Yeah. Excellent. But you would what, is, that on, is that on a three star scale uh, rating? <laughs> three out of six three. Out of scale. <laughs> yeah. We have what right. is your stars? In three that? stars six out of six and a half. Exactly. Like seven, seven, eight. Seven point seven seven stars. Depends how the, high I am. The top one. <laughs> Jay, how about you? What do you think? You recommend? Yeah, I'd recommend it. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's a necessarily a, a, a must. Watch. I think it's one of James Wan's weaker movies. I'll say that. It definitely. I don't think it's up there with like Saw, The Conjuring. But you know, it's definitely worth a watch. You'll you'll get your James you'll get your James Wan fix, and uh, you know, 
you're not gonna be you're not gonna be moved by it, but it's a good is, way to you know spend a couple Is that, is that a thing? A if comedy. people go people go Jonesing for a James Bond fix. <laughs> really, to be honest, yeah, I think so. I think when you have Insidious, Saw, and The Conjuring, the guy's got three uh, major, uh, you know. I mean, Saw is such a unique. Uh, movie, I think the one really. off so hard. <laughs> oh, one off. I like that. I got a one off. All right, Jake, do you recommend it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like it's, it's funny. Yeah, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it is. Mikey, Mikey, what do you think? You recommend? Uh, yeah, I'm, I recommend eating an edible or some mushrooms and watching it at least oh, once. It's perfect. fucking hilarious. See it once at least. Uh, it's better than Aquaman. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, and they Watch replace Aquaman with Drew. Gabriel. Then I'm interested. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, but it'd be weird to see her swimming backwards. <laughs> but it'd be cool. It would be. It also confuse me, and I probably wouldn't like it. Yeah, just no skinny jeans. Um, I'm gonna recommend it. I thought it was a blast. Like I said, I, it was a roller coaster ride of a movie. Uh, I've been thinking about it all day. How ridiculous it was, and just fun. And going in totally blind was the right way to do it. I think the trailer masked enough of what's going on in the movie that you wouldn't know. And it's just such a fun ending. That third act is just fucking bonkers, ridiculous. From the prison scene to the, the, the police station scene to the hospital room, you're just on a ride. It's so much fun. So what an interesting movie and highly recommend it. And I do think it is, I, I don't know, I, in, the, in the category of James Wan, yeah, it's lesser, I think. Uh, but at the same time, weird i think it's going to stand as one of his weirder things that he's done and he, he did some weird fucking movies out there so yeah. uh and saw i mean like i said he built he rebuilt the horror movie in the early 2000s you know what i mean and then with insidious and uh the conjuring he recreated with at least the conjuring the exorcism movie you know what i mean all those movies scared the shit out of me insidious yeah. conjuring i grew up catholic and that was the only thing that was catholic about me was ghosts yeah oh, was, yeah. oh yeah that's yeah. awesome you carried over the good shit then <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not. It's I lived in a haunted house. It's not good, dude. Oh, we got to talk more about that. What you lived in a haunted I, house? Uh, yeah, we can talk about it later. But uh, I'm too <laughs> close to watching right Malignant right now. Oh, dude. <laughs> I know. Right, I Malignant. love those movies. I love. So I think Jay mentioned Constantine. I think that's a great movie. I love exorcism movies and demon movies and shit like that. Uh, yeah, I think I think it was. A, I thought the movie was pretty good. It's enjoyable at least. It's not. I didn't come out of it like super scared or anything like I did when I watched Insidious conjuring or anything i was like what that's hilarious that's why i recommended this one javi welcome to the cast with a nice little smoky toke hey real quick i want to let you know rap said he's probably watching anime or some <laughs> bullshit uh, did what you, what, uh rap said he's probably watching anime or some bullshit i added that last part. i was actually just jerking off for like this last half hour <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> to, I was that watching anime. Anime, my God. to us uh, he was yeah. watching us yeah. <laughs> He was watching anime then. It's <laughs> like, oh my god, oh octopuses could go in there. Fuck yeah! Oh, it's hot. All right, Hobbs, we're at the end of it. You got to give us our your thirty second. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna disagree with everybody right now. You're all fucking wrong. This movie sucks ass. <laughs> this shouldn't be considered a fucking horror movie. It's a fucking joke. I'm pretty sure it was made as a joke. Ooh, it's the old. I got a demented twin that I absorbed in the womb. Now I got the strength of a full grown person and a tiny baby. Like, <laughs> so you did watch it yeah I saw this when it first came out it's fucking terrible I oh love yeah it. <laughs> you didn't enjoy anything about it nothing I just said I loved it you bitch but I still fucking hate it oh okay well, that sounds <laughs> about like what everyone felt like <laughs> would you they all hated it? it what's that they, do they all it. hate it no, everyone seemed to think it was a, a, an interesting movie and it was fun That's that's like that should come with the caption it's bad well, I think it's like they don't want to just admit it. It's like I think everyone it's said fun. It's, it's, it's a funny. jaunty it's a fun, fun ride. It's funny. It's a fun movie. Yeah, it's it's whatever. I'm just glad we didn't watch else. Arcade again. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> I keep picking these movies. You guys are like, I hate. Uh, I wonder why. Uh, Javi, do you recommend it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all I needed to know. All right, we're gonna get the clips. 
Hey everyone, it's just Duck jumping in here real quick to say thank you so much for checking out the podcast today. If you're enjoying it, head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, or iTunes, and give We Are Podcast Network a like. And just so you know, the next section of the podcast will be clips from the movie, so you can find replays of the live video stream at twitch.tv backslash We Are Podcast Network and youtube.com backslash We Are Podcast Network. Once again, all links can be found in the description. Come check out our live stream every Monday at 8 p.m. And for a full list of future films, check out our social media. You can find us at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash we are podcast. And with that, back to the horror cast. Clips. I just made it over the clips. Made it for the record, I thought Arcade was pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> no, he did not. <laughs> Nobody did. What? No one liked Arcade? <laughs> Which one was Arcade? <laughs> The one well, I picked arcade doesn't arcade like, arcade. like arcade. Oh, the arcade VR movie. Great. I knew arcade was going to get shit on before. We <laughs> was I my next arcade? pick will not. My next pick will not. Hopefully, let's see what happens. All right, got him. Got him. Yeah. He had one point five. I didn't know what happened in that scene. Turn off the radio. <laughs> Nice little Sony ad here. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a marketing right. That's now. how Hollywood works, baby. Yeah, <laughs> for that big old S O N Y up there. Oh my god. Tuma. Oh, Sony's just Tuma. killing it. They got the rights to Spider Man, and they're gonna pop over the Malignant franchise. Got that what? Malignant. What? There it is. Look at them little little arms going. Oh, okay. I get it. Uh, turning a little uh, Were you watching a different movie? For real? Were you watching no. Maleficent? <laughs> Spider-Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> Checking out Maleficent. Maleficent. I thought that was Angelina Jolie the whole time. She was a MILF. That chick, not Angelina Jolie. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, doctor. Right. Yeah, the piece, doctor. Piece of shit gets what he deserves. <laughs> See, I think that's where Howie oh. turned it off. Picked up a couple oh, of links. Cool. I just want to say that guy right there. I don't think she had three miscarriages. I think she gave her three abortions. Yeah. I, think that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. I actually clipped the punch real quick, and then I was like, "I'm taking that out." Like, you know. Hey, know. but then she goes back to that house after she killed or somebody kills her husband, and like, "Oh, I'm just gonna go to sleep here." Yeah. Maybe. Well, yeah. but it's like, oh, but it's, it's her. So. But it's creepy though, too. And like, <laughs> yeah, did he, did anybody else think like this guy's a piece of shit? How did he find? How did? How can he afford this Victorian masterpiece? <laughs> know, yeah. The house was true. Yeah. This piece yeah. of shit yeah. in this house, and that's like fucking clearly. Really really it's so fucking expensive up there. It is. It's a huge fucking house. And he's and just they... watching UFC in the middle of the day when she comes <laughs> home. Yeah, like, yeah. a fucking bum. <laughs> <mom? laughs> All right. Oh, I don't see out. shit. I don't see anything. I don't see what she's seeing. Here. You don't see what she's seeing? She's seeing I, fog, bro. Oh, no, I didn't see anything. Just the light. Oh, it's right there, though. It's the body. I'm scared. The... I don't see anything. It was a body, bro. All right. I didn't see nothing. Nothing. This, this scared duck. It worked. Of course it did. <laughs> <laughs> that was enough for me. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. I was really upset that the hot sister died. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, but she didn't. She didn't. She did leave oh, back to life. So, yes, the sister was hot, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she didn't look like a cabbage patch doll to you? Oh, she's fucking hot, bro. Yeah. She's like one did, of the best parts of the Let me bowl. ask you a question. Thank There's you. that one scene where you can see the, what you guys say earlier? The lines, it's, the butt lines. The lines. <laughs> she's wearing the jeans, man. Yeah, Here's Gaby. I liked her as a princess, too. The woman in the washer. Looks like somebody dropped a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that part right that there. Right yeah. there. Yeah, that, one got me. <sighs> that was a battery drop moment for me right there. My yeah. house! Who are you? What do you want? Who are you? <laughs> fucking Dead. drops are like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> I'm your pappy side piece. That's who I am. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Transformation. 
Swing! That's Inception right there. That's all I got to think about. The cancer kills! That's malignant! Malignant. <laughs> ketchup right there. Just gone. Oh. That's a spicy ketchup, too. That's dark. <laughs> That's the stuff you get from water burger. burger right there. <laughs> this was awesome. Oh, I, I got that shit right here. So cool. Okay. You mean you rewind it? Wait, it bothers me. That this motherfucker saw a goddamn window open with wet footprints going into there. Light goes out, and he's like, eh. I'm gonna hey, man, hey, pretty nice. He's good. Hey, shut the window. I'm going to bed. Like, also, what the fuck? That is the window. He's 90, bro. Kind, kind of hot with the backwards cowgirl, like I said earlier. Uh, <laughs> but also, do any of you guys sleep in full pajama suits, tops and bottoms that you fucking <laughs> Anybody actually fucking sleep like that? With full covers up. Like, uh, I knew. Oh, I, 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 and I even sleep with the nightcap, too. Mike, I think you're missing the point. The He's I keep a candle by my milk. bed with a ring. <laughs> yeah, whenever I hear a fucking bump in the night and I know it's coming from my living room, I'll take my little candle stand, light it, but who goes yeah. there? Yeah. Who goes there? Yeah. Yeah. I look at the dog with my your... monocle. <laughs> how, Boy, how do you day carry day that with it? your warm glass of milk in the other hand? You're gonna do something <laughs> Once again, I think you're missing the point. He's rich. <laughs> So you, you're oh. telling me that all rich people sleep like that in full yes. pajama oh, outfits? Oh, yeah. yes. They got all rich people sleep like that with giant knife blades in their faces. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so lame. Ah. Sloth. Hey, you guys. Oh, I'm putting out. <laughs> oh, my God. More like a retarded puma to me. Give me a <laughs> uh, Gabriel calls. <laughs> I'm going to make them pay for what they did. One, you spelled as Gabrielle? I probably did. I'm not going to spell She it. said it. Gabrielle, no. Is this in camera? I kind of like this effect. Like, she brushing her teeth, she ducks down, she comes back up, it's the old man. Like, it's that old Sarah Connor thing where they do the TV yeah. thing. I, I think, think they did CG. it in camera, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Because when she turns, it's the actor. So I don't. Who's that old man? I don't remember who that is. That's the second doctor that gets. No, the third doctor that gets. Third. Killed. Ghost of Bobby Barker. Yeah, they don't give him a really cold death. It's just he's in a bathtub and then he's dead. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't One. afford him for very long. He was on Days of Our Lives or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> One the nose. I think it was meant to be born. playing a corpse. Right there, you should have known, Raph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. They, it was a surprise they, when they watched those VHS. Chasing. I was in Scooby. I didn't notice him in the mirror, though. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. God, oh, you're ugly. Get off of me! Your Don't face looks like lasagna! Me. Oh, gross! Superhero. Is your hair in my mouth? Yeah, just uh, don't try to land on your feet or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh, Googled this movie. Was that, that was actually the smart He broke move. his fall with his neck. <laughs> I Googled this movie. <laughs> I'll break my fall with my head. <laughs> and then so I'll my, become my a malignant. My broke the fall. <laughs> he was trying to get a second twin to come out of him. <laughs> Check the movie. Chase him. It says they modeled his face after a bowl of linguine. <laughs> Meat sauce. Check the roof. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to get you. <laughs> I just Cut realized the there's a wagon in that shot. Where the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, I was going to bring that up. Why is there like... It, Oh, holy shit, it comes full circle. You guys are talking about... They're the, the dark carnival, bro. All the fog. 
Gabriel yeah, I, does improv. And this is one of their stage sets. He was actually going to practice. <laughs> it's all scene. It's all scene. Cut. I'm playing Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Zip, zap, zop. Everyone, zip, zap, zop. Let's go. Oh, my God. Cut, cut the cake. Cut, cut that shit out right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and? <laughs> uh... I think, like, you're right. You can take her back to the orphanage. Yeah. This one's okay. defective. Give me another one. <laughs> I wanted to know what kind of cake that was. It looked like a buttercream. That shit looked delicious. <laughs> I've still got the warranty on this, orphan. <laughs> I thought you made cake. I want a new one. <laughs> I, I made the warranty, warranty on, cake on this cake. <laughs> <laughs> Not the mama. <laughs> Dude, please tell me you took on the death trap. <laughs> <laughs> I should have added the dinosaur. Bro, yeah. you see how high that was? That bitch is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Theme song. Jake's ready for it. Oh, God. The, the best usage of this, though, is whenever she's like... I'm adopted, and then it's like, no! It's so low, and then start playing that fucking music, and it's like, what is happening right now? You're not wrong, it does sound like Fight Club. The, the it fight is, club. It's, it's that song, it has to be. Yeah, it's the same song. It's the, the Pixies, I think, is the thing that. Where is my mind? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, where is my mind? Personal. You're trying to incriminate her. Is all this personal? So how did this bitch. phone call work? I'm still holding your face last night. She has superhuman powers. He, he has like ESP Kruger's Kruger's talking like through her. Telepathy. He can yeah. use phones through his ESP plus. Oh, that's a telephone telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> Tele yeah, telephonepathy. <laughs> for that, I can't. <laughs> <I'm ignorant>. uh, <laughs> Oh. Gabriel it was Lynn, melt-hearted, bro. dude. <laughs> Here it is. I fucking oh, love my ass off. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was funny. Did anybody else? That was That's fucking hilarious. When I first saw, Gabriel I was rolling, bro. <laughs> I was laughing dude, my ass off. Dude, that is ass fucking off. hilarious to me. Yeah. That's why I want you to watch this little that titties, one scene. Man. Yeah, yeah Gabriel was, was really it, killing with the Muppet like fucking imitations. Like. Can we watch that one uh, again? Yeah. I really want to know David's take on those. Here we go. Ah, don't touch me! Don't touch me! He's got a little son of Kitty. Don't touch me! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No, Kitty, that's my pie. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I like that they made this money. This movie made any money with that shit. In. I like that. Oh I like that. Yeah. I just be hoping that I could be successful one day. Gabriel, now. <laughs> like I said, this is this is the bad. Yeah. Zoe Bell. That made yeah, Zoe dude. so ugly. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> no, wait, who's Zoe Bell? Who is Zoe Bell? She's uh, like the main stunt woman that Quentin Tarantino uses. Like, oh, she, she the was one the playing stunt the woman for the bride. She was in Death Proof. She was in fucking. She, she was in the Once, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. She she looks like she sells and buys meth at truck stops. <laughs> yeah. Gabe kills. Oh. <laughs> Brutality. Oh! That's like his, his signature move. Tell him, him off! off. <laughs> that was awesome. Back oh, she, would make, she would make a killer DLC for Mortal Kombat 11. Absolutely. <laughs> Backwards. Oh, you know what? Soul Calibur, there's a character 
that that works. Baldo. Kind of backwards. Yeah. Baldo. Yeah. Baldo. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Backwards matrix. This is so over the top. This is awesome. It's fucking great. It fucks with your head. Comes out on. Oh, they got him. John Wick. Welcome back, Jake. We got the weird money shot. Weird money shot. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do. <laughs> Starts taking that shit. Dude, fucking Gabriel thick in the front, bro. I'm vengeance. Now that's a clap those, clap those Gabriel cheeks. <laughs> Sister, brother. No, oh, wait, hold on a second. Does that mean Gabriel has a front butt? Yes. <laughs> front this, butt. Is, this is a South Park episode. He's front <laughs> butt fucking. <laughs> Uh, who's got something playing? There we go. Sister, brother, whatever. What did you do to my sister? She's not your sister! Oh! Brutal. Mind prison. Dude, Gabriel does oh. some fucking deadlifts and squats around. <laughs> like a mother. No, no, like reverse. Like, that's. Oh, you. I go to CrossFit four times a week. End, bro. Well, every time, every time she takes a shit, that's a workout for him. <laughs> Get up off that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that, that scene at the end where she says uh, she can move that the the thing because she has the the strength he has. She can barely yeah. lift it up. I could not stop <laughs> laughing. <laughs> I'm like you didn't even move it, man. He just tossed that thing across the room. <laughs> <laughs> now I can do all the money tricks you can. Money tricks! We share the same brain. I didn't ask to be dead to you. You don't deserve your body. I can use it better than you. Not anymore. Whoa, bro. Who are you gonna throw that puss at, Gabriel? <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye. Yeah, so I could talk. use this. Body better than you can, sister. It doesn't have a dick, though. <laughs> bye bye, Fuck. daddy. This is it. Can't assume his gender. <laughs> that just fixes the whole problem, my friend. No, no blood, of no course. Yeah. She's fine. It's fine. You think KFC still open? <laughs> <laughs> End of it. It's like fine. I said, you never go near her again. That thing is terrifying. I don't know. I've never hit it from the back, that's for sure. Oh, God. <laughs> harder, harder. You'd be hitting it from the front. <laughs> I right, could guys. use your dick better than you. <laughs> Let us do some recommends. The first one we're going to do here is Orion Pictures Presents. What was it again? Oh, the, uh, oh, God, what is it called? The dead, The Dark Half. This is a Stephen King movie. Jay, have you seen this before? Yep. So it came out in like uh, 93. Yes, that is right. And fucking hot. It's a Stephen King uh, <clears throat> film. Kind of deals with twins, one being evil, one being good, duality and stuff like that. I haven't seen it, but it's a George Romero, so I'm interested in seeing it eventually. I think that would be kind of a cool film to do for the cast. That's Timothy Dutton. Yep. Next Timothy one. Hutton. Timothy Hutton. Oh, the next one me. I'm going to suggest is Basket Case. Ah. Have you guys seen Basket Case? Fuck yeah. Yes, yeah, so Basket well. Case, where he's got his twin brother in the basket, and he's just <laughs> like, <laughs> and he tells him to kill. Uh, Look how happy he is, too. Well, oh, I don't Jesus. Know if really loves I don't know if they show it. retarded? Oh. Maybe, but he really loves his brother, and I think that's adorable. Yeah, I, I, I definitely, definitely... Just suggest this, and Jay said this earlier. American Horror Story season four. Uh, it was really good. good. Yeah, season four. Yeah, my favorite bad. season. Yeah, it's, it was yeah, really it was fucking really good. good. Uh, but the the twins alone, the conjoined twins, is why I picked this. Uh, they are weird, and it's she. I don't know how she does it. Like she's so good. Every, uh, Sarah Paul. She's a method so, actress. She actually had a second head attached to her. Yeah, she did. I don't it's believe true. It. 
She's you got so him alignment. Him. That's why it's on the side. <laughs> Give it up, Mikey. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting season. Not one of my favorites. I find that the even seasons are not as good as the last season. But uh, it's not bad. And it's uh, it's Jessica, Jessica Lang's last season, too. So they really give her a, a good show on it. So other than that, do you guys have any recommendations for twin style <laughs> stuff? I guess it would be. Does it have to be hard? Yeah. You're, You're going to say twice. split it's it up. Hard to find <laughs> You go what you say, Doc? No, go ahead. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. I don't Stuck think you on are. you. I'm gonna yeah. go. Yeah, that's good. That's actually on Amazon yeah. Prime. Go check it out. Also, Twins, the best. Twins uh, that's also on uh, Amazon Prime. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? No. It's on <laughs> Damn. What the uh, fuck are we doing here? No, wait, wait, wait. It's on Peacock. <laughs> and either way, it's really good. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah, it's I got good. one. Uh, it came in around the same time as the dark half. Uh, I would recommend Raising Cain with John Lithgow. That's a movie really more about multiple personalities, but it definitely has it. And also uh, the uh, infamous uh, Michael Caine movie, Dress to Kill. I thought you were going to okay. say The Hand. We definitely watched that on this. <laughs> yes, The Hand. Uh, I got one. Good. Double Impact with Jean-Claude Van Damme, where he plays a gay aerobics instructor and also a possibly gay uh, gentleman of the night uh, bouncer type. And they're twins and they don't know it and they have to kick ass together uh, against Bolo Young. Are they really gay in it? Oh, yeah, I don't know. You want that hot dame on dame action? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, as long as they're not related, it's fine. Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm fine. Anyone else? The Prestige. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Damn, you came out of nowhere with that. Yeah, yeah but don't spoil it about yeah. the twin. <laughs> ah, damn it. Damn it. Oh, that's how he does it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did it. Fuck! I've seen it a hundred times. I didn't know. <laughs> Were you high on that one too, Rap? Were you just no, like, I'm I don't high. know. I thought uh, I was watching Maleficent again. Rap. <laughs> you were thinking Maleficent, bro. I'm gonna watch that one. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking hot. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I. Guys, we talked Maleficent, I mean Malignant, whatever it was called, Malignant. and uh, we chatted about it quite profusely. Uh, Mikey, where can they find you on the internet, good sir? Uh, you can find me at the at uh, Mikey B the Comic on Instagram. Uh, don't worry about Facebook; my Instagram is better. Or check out my <laughs> podcast, the Open Mike Podcast, M I K E at the Open Mike Podcast, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that, okay. and on TikTok. You can find my stuff, but they won't put it in anybody's feed. Uh, but uh, that's it. right on, and then you can find us at we are podcast.podbean.com where you can find all the podcasts. Check out the We Are Air Live that we did this week. You can watch that on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, it's everywhere, except for it's not one. on YouTube because it got cut off of YouTube because of the music. It happens every <laughs> time. They never get me on Twitch though, so it's fine, it's still there. You can go watch it. Uh, also, you can check out our uh, social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and backslash we are podcast. I'm going to start working on some more WAP and reviews. I got a fill- CDI for Christmas, so I can't wait to start talking about that. It's an old school system. It's cool. Nice. Uh, with that nice. said, uh, guys, hope you had a Merry Christmas, and I hope we all have a happy fucking New Year. Get rid of the wretched year of 2021, which wasn't terrible. It was all right. Let's not uh, shit on 2021, because we all know 2020 is going to be that much worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> it's going to be the whole my beer year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. So, guys, I hope that every one of you has a Merry New Year's or whatever it is. Same said. to you. Uh, Same to all. After that, we are going to be coming back and doing Poltergeist 3, and then we will be checking out my uh, uh, movie for my birthday, which will be Shin Godzilla, and then Jay's birthday movie will be at the end of the month. Uh, what is it again you're doing, Jay? I forgot. Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead, yes. Nice. Good one. Nice. Good one. So we'll be checking it all out. With that said, everyone, keep horror in your heart. Please do. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Keep pouring your heart. I will see you guys hopefully next week. Peace out until then. Deuces. With that said, I will cut the feed. (laughs) Bye bye. 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 That's going to be my new.
That's going to be our new bye. one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye bye. And there it is. Thank you again so much for checking out the podcast today. If you enjoyed it, head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, and iTunes, and give We Are Podcast Network a like. And since this is Camp Slash Horrorcast, if you want to check us out live, we will be on Twitch and YouTube every Monday at 8 p.m. Central Time. You can find us at twitch.tv backslash We Are Podcast Network and youtube.com backslash We Are Podcast Network. And if you've enjoyed this podcast, you're going to love the other podcasts here on the We Are Podcast Network. We have We Are Air, where we talk movies, entertainment, whatever the fuck we want to talk about. That's me, that's Jake, and that's Javi. We're breaking down that pop culture, and we're having so much fun. And don't forget to check out We Are Begoo, a video game podcast, where we talk Atari to Steam and everything in between. That's me and Dr. Ethan Eastwood breaking down all that video game lore. Heroes, Jeros, a Dungeons and Distractions side quest. Me and the boys were playing some D&D. You can start that one from Season 1, Episode 1. It's a blast the whole way through. And I hate being sober. Personal stories from epic people. I sit down with some of my favorite people of all time. We talk about their trials, their tribulations, and their journey this far. Also, check the links in the description for our social media. You can find us at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash we are podcast network. With that said, hopefully we see you in the live stream.